What's up everybody, Busta Boy here. This here is a Star Wars Battlefront beta review. Um, it's This video has been heavily inspired by another YouTuber that has done his, his first impressions. It inspired me to do my first impressions, aka review, and what I think the game's gonna be like in the future, and what I think the game, what I think about the game modes. First off, first and foremost, the single player portion of it. For those of you who are not into the online stuff, who doesn't, don't really like the multiplayer and stuff, we're gonna cover that first. This is pretty much what, of course it is, obviously, you got training, you got battles, and you got survival, but of course you can't play anything but survival <clears throat> in the beta. Yeah, so, this here, uh, that's Tatooine right there, obviously. Um, these are all the maps you get to go in the actual game. It's the map you get to go to. It's actually not too bad. It's, it's, um, uh, hold on, how do I put this? It's like Call of Duty Zombies, only difference is with Star Wars characters. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much it. But let's get to what you really want to want to see. Some gameplay. So we're going to do the multiplayer. First thing I'm going to tell you is I suck at this. So don't expect a really good thing. Um, a really good playthrough. But anyway, yeah, there's the um, there's drop zone and then there's walker assault. I'm going to do one with drop zone and I'm going to do one with walker assault. Walker assault is basically where you had to you either play as the rebels or the empire and you get to either you had to put these like little um, computers online so you can attack ATSTs. I mean ATATs, ATATs, ATSTs. I always get those confused. ATATs, which for those of you who are not familiar, those are those big, those are those big camel hump looking things. Those things with the camel hump, as a lot of people say. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> you're either attacking one of those or your plan is the Empire and defending it, which I will show that off. This is pretty much the drop zone. It's pretty much a search. It's like search and destroy. Um, you find escape pods and you open them, you defend them, and you move on to the next one. I'll show you a little bit of it. Like I said, I'm not very good at it, so I'm playing as the Imperial this time. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very good at it, so don't expect me to like not to like do this to do this flawlessly because it's not gonna happen. Expect a lot more deaths than than kills. So, but this is pretty much just to try to show you an idea on what the game could be, what the game is like. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is actually the first time I'm actually commentating on my video that's not pre-recorded. Wow, isn't that something? But yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to go with um, the E11 Blaster Rifle. The E11 Blaster Rifle is pretty good. It's decent. Um, my overall thoughts in this game, I'm going to give it right probably after this. After I'm done getting my ass kicked. Like usual. <laughs> I see. See? Like that. That's how you get your ass kicked naturally. <laughs> Actually not doing too bad, I guess. I guess you can say I'm not doing too bad yet. Better not brag. Every time I brag, I freaking do horrible. So yeah, like I was saying, overall, the overall gameplay of this, it's freaking awesome. I am in. I am having so much fun with this game right now. It's not even funny. I can't wait for November 11th. Um, but from what the beta has offered me, I have decided to hold on. On pre-ordering it I'm not gonna pre-order this game um, because for the simple fact that it's EA you know and anything can happen when it comes to EA 
You know, it's like the WWE, anything can happen in WWE. The only difference between the WWE and EA is EA is a real company. You know, WWE isn't, isn't real. It's fake. Sorry. Sorry, wrestling fans. But, yeah, that's true. But anyway, the point is, the game, like I said, overall is really fun. But the beta... From what I've played, like I said, it runs really smoothly. I'm doing, I'm playing this from straight from the PlayStation 4 itself. Um, and I know in the video that I watched of Boogie, he was wondering if it played any differently on from this the PC port. And no, it does not, in my opinion. It does not. It plays exactly the same, I think. And there I go, getting my ass kicked, like always. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Let's see if I can actually... Let's see if this is actually gonna work. Did it work? Did I actually kill someone? And it's counting my kills! Wow, nice! Now, yeah, there's there's a couple of... Like I said, there's a couple... There's a couple of problems. First of all, there's a couple of glitches in the beta. Sometimes you kill people and they don't count. Sometimes you get stuck on rocks. You know, tradition, typical glitches that always happen in most multiplayer games. But other than that, I say it's still pretty decent. Is it worth pre-ordering? Probably not. Not for me, anyway. That's pretty much the idea where I'm getting at with this. I'm I'm not going to pre-order it. Um, overall, from what I played, it ain't too bad. You know, I mean, I'd say. I'd give it a, if I had to give it a out of a 5 rating, I would give it probably a 3, maybe a 4. Um, this is coming from a Star Wars fan too, so I, but I'm not thinking of this as a Star Wars fan, I'm thinking of this as a gamer, and as a gamer, it just, it, there's still some holes, you know what I mean? Like that big giant demonic brand on the front cover of it, known as EA. And that's what's really got me worried is is it gonna work at launch because they're known they're known for their games not they're they're relatively infamous for their games not working at launch but we shall see what the finished project has to offer you know that's what I say and let's just see what happens and as you can see I'm doing it actually not too bad <laughs> I thought I would be doing Worse than this, actually. I almost got capped really bad there. Wow, but yeah, like I was saying, if you haven't downloaded the beta, it is free now on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC until Sunday. So if you have not played it, what are you waiting for? Like, give your opinion, give your voices. We have voices. Let's exercise our right of freedom speech. Give, put your voice out there. Let people know how you feel about this game. In fact, you can start by putting in the comments below. What do you think of this game? You know what I mean? What do you think of this game? Do you think it's fun? Do you, does it look fun? Have you played it? If so, leave it in the comments below if you've played it or not. Um, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? It's free. I mean, if you ha you have, you're going to be playing games or whatever anyway. So just go download it. Download it and give your opinions on it. And you know what? Game on. Enjoy yourself. Wait for the finished project product. You know. And we'll see what happens. So overall, I say it's not too bad. It's shaping up to be great, though. Shaping up to be awesome. So for that, I'm not gonna stall any longer. This is Buster Boy 46 signing off, saying, "Game on. Rock out. Stay frosty. Stay real." Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see if I can get one more kill before I end this. One last kill. Try to get one. Might fail, but you know what? I don't care. I'll try to get one more kill. Let's see if I can do this. And it. Let's see if I can get that kill.
Gotta kill a sis, so... Gotcha! Okay, that's perfect. Alright. Adios, amigos. Thanks for watching.